Them say me are the dan from Portland But this I done and I do not know where wrong For rich people me sit down For poor people me stand I and I now nah, mix up with Dutty Babylon Am I right or am I wrong? I may say you for your things I may say you for your things not Welcome back guys We have here today Big star provider and I'm gonna ask provider a few questions and I'm sure a lot of you people would like to you know know more about provider and where provider is from we all know it's from Jamaica recently migrated to Australia and uh, yeah so provider my first question is when did you aspire to do music how old were you well Firstly, um, I've been, my father used to love music before I get to that. My father, I always used to hear him be singing songs and, you know, I'd always say one day, those songs will be mine and I always laugh at the, the situation and say, in my head I'm like, I don't like those songs, those songs so like old people songs, you know, but I think that he saw vision, something that I didn't see, you know, so later down the track, um, I, I started doing music at age 16, you know, um, after his passing, like three years after his passing, you know, so, yeah, I started playing around with music, well, I've been playing around with music before 16, but that's, at age 16 is when I was like, I'm an artist, you know, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm writing music, so, yeah, and I used to just make my songs at that point, I was, I was basically a rapper, you know, I didn't use to do dancehall or reggae music, so I started out doing rapping, and I later found out that you know this thing wouldn't work here because I have a strong Jamaican accent, and it just it just wouldn't work being a Jamaican. Be back in Jamaica. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, so <clears throat> I decided I'm just gonna do reggae, and then later started doing dancehall. So that's how it all. You know, can you give us a give you, can you remember the very first song that you wrote wrote? <laughs> well, one of the first rap lyrics, I can't remember it fully, but I remember lines like My niggas are the best from the east side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was just something yeah, I don't remember the, the full verses and all that, but yeah, it was it was an interesting song and I used to just rap for my friends and people around, you know, my area. And thing and they used to love it yeah. you know so uh, i started developing my craft there there was a guy that owns a sound system and i uh, started us you know every every night we'd go there and and sing and dj you see we call it dj other than you know saying singing yeah so that's that's how, that's how we call it in jamaica you see so yeah that's where i started developing my craft but when my brother told me about this competition um, which was happening in a close by community in Portland and I decided that I'm gonna enter that competition so that's what I did and um, yeah that really helped me develop in my craft you know learn how to be more con that way like develop my confidence in in music really you know and make me realize that oh shit I can do this that's when I really actually feel like I'm being loved for something that I'm doing you know so and that's when I was like, shit, music, I was made for this. So you were born and born and grew up in Port Antonio, Definitely. in Jamaica, Portland? Definitely. All right. Um, from Port Antonio to Buff Bay, that was So you lived in Buff Bay? Yeah, I lived in Buff Bay for a few years. Went to primary school, Buff Bay primary as well. And yeah, so yeah. Portland is my place. So this competition, you won that competition? Yeah, I won it. Fair and square. And but you you had a few different artist names, right? Yeah. What was your back then? But then you know the funny thing is I, I I'm all of my artist name I actually basically kind of create create my names, you know. Um, but then it was Papa names. <laughs> you know, so if you type in on YouTube Papa names, you know uh, you'll find a, a video clip or two there of me. You see it. So at that time. How I actually became Papa Nims was I had a pig by the name Nemo and yeah that's a long story anyway but um, someone heard, heard me calling the pig Nemo one day and then <laughs> and then started calling me Nemo after that you know so and then 
after Nemo became Nemes and then from Nemes came Papa Nemes. So I just stick with the name when I went into the, com the competition because I didn't really have a stage name at the time. So I just worked with that. You know, and then everyone there would tell me, tell me that, you know, you're a real good artist, but I just don't like the Papa and the Papa and it. It just sounds too old. Yeah. You know, so I decided that I'm going to have a name change. And um, I was dis discussing it with a friend one day. And um, the guy was like, for your style of music, it would be good to do to name itself Africa. And I was like, Africa? You know what? It's so too much, you know, I'm taking an old continent name, you know, so I then decided, why not do something close to Africa? You know, and then I I first start off um, Afrokai, you know, and then I was like, sounds good, but I feel like I don't, I'm not wearing an afro, so I was like, should I put something closer, something close then again? And then I, uh, the next idea was Africa, and then I was like, hmm, you know, I'm going to work with that one, and, and they said they like it as well, so nice. that's why I came up with that name, you know, so, yeah, and I, I ran with that name for a long time, I mean, people still know me as Africa, yeah. you know, so I recently um, changed my name, um, after basically, you know, being in a, in a music publishing contract, you know, so that's something I never really spoke about. So I guess this is the perfect time to speak about it. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, after being wrapped up in a, in a, in a contract um, for some time now, you know, um, and finally got out of that, you know, I had to get lawyer and all that. So, yeah, and I've always never liked the idea of signing to anybody. Because I've gotten like two offers before, and this that that last one I took it, and yeah, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it, you know. Mm. That's the people just feel like say, oh, oh, they see artists with talent and just want to work with them, but no, uh, they don't have a plan, you know. They just like, oh, let's see if I can grow with this artist. They don't have anything to invest really, so um, yeah, I decided that you know there was lots of stuff that was going on that I didn't like so I just decided I'm gonna part with it. So uh, you feel that you're better off doing this as a self-made? Yeah definitely you know um, I'd rather to grow this way if someone not coming to me with a good deal or you know I'm just not gonna if they're not really serious about what they're doing I'm not gonna go ahead with it and I'm I don't think signing for me right now is a good a good idea you know yeah. signing me I don't think so because the whole contract thing, I couldn't even work with anybody. You know, I couldn't be like, oh, I want to go work with this producer or whatever. So I had to wait until I get out of the contract before I could do anything like that. So yeah, I, uh, I don't like it. I like, I, I, I love freedom. I like to do my music freely without feeling like I'm trapped. You know, so yeah, that's why. That's I, a good idea. Yeah, Definitely. so I like to do it independently. Whatever I make out of it, so be it. So where do you see Provider now in terms of music? Like what genres are you touching bases with these days? Well, if you, for me, I really love, I really love um, Afrobeat. Uh, I think I made my whole, also started listening to Afrobeat like year, a couple of years now when um, Afrobeat start like breaking out in, in Jamaica really. So who were you really listening to um, then? At like, that time yeah. it was at that time it was Whiskey. You know, oh, Whiskey is the first Afrobeat artist I heard. He did a he did a cover of one of Bob Marley's song on BBC One Extra. And that's when I was like, who the hell is this? You know? And then I started looking up more music for him and then I started discovering more African artists and then, you know, like Adok Adekunle Gold and Fireboy and Malik Berry and those artists became like some of my favorite top African artists. You know. Rick Hassani is another yeah, one. Yeah, big up. A whole heap of them. Mm, so, you know, definitely. I have a big love for Afrobeat. Like it's not just today, you know. So, yeah, I'm definitely. Well, I've done a few Afrobeat songs. I haven't released as yet, but. You know, definitely going into that market. Oh, we can't wait to hear those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, they're going to be fire. Definitely, I'm looking forward to that. So, Afro beats, and you're still going to be touching your basis with your roots, obviously. Yeah, definitely. Down tall definitely. And, and as I said, I started out rapping, so I think I've always been versatile, where I always mix genres, you know, a bit of R&B, as 
even though hold on me song hello good morning where you came from that song you know what i mean it's more like r and b slash dancehall vibe you see it so yeah still gonna show my versatility but dancehall because lots of people um try to make it seem like dancehall and reggae is one but it's not dancehall and reggae is separate so i do both you see it so yeah that's that's where it's at really so a bit of controversy controversy here about in recent times stone boy made a comment about how reggae music is from <laughs> it's africa. from africa well i i personally <laughs> i personally don't think he's right to some extent but at the same time you know i i wouldn't say that it's from africa because the music the music have started in jamaica you know the influences might be from africa but the music have started in jamaica the, what the people live they breed everything is, is it's it's there that's they right. develop their mm. craft there they didn't come from africa they, they're from africa by descent but they didn't come from africa and say oh i'm gonna start reggae music in jamaica mm. you know so i would say it started from jamaica and that's why so like like for example like i would say you know like latin music it has influences from africa the yeah. beats the drums and yeah. things are from africa yeah. but latino people made it their own yeah. therefore this is why i have a big thing about reggaeton reggaeton is is a uh, dance hall yeah. it's the same beat it's just a faster beat yeah. than dance hall yeah. but it comes from jamaica yeah it's 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 definitely from jamaica yeah yeah, yeah. So. wow that's good yeah. so where do we see uh provider now like performing on stages what's he doing ah uh, yeah i have an um, upcoming show um, one. i have an upcoming show in, in melbourne on the 29th of this month october Anyway. Island, hang on. Yeah, so that's my little son there, Bobo. <laughs> yeah, man. So I'm on the 29th of October in Jolang, Johnstones Park. Yeah, and I have uh, another show in December, a day before my birthday, which is December 8th. Um, in Sydney, uh, opening for Turbulence. Wow, go on. You don't know this is Provider. And guess what? I'll be performing a Turbulence show in Sydney, Australia. You see me at the Metro Theatre, December the 8th. Yeah, man. Come check me out live. Trust me, it's gonna be a vibe. Yeah, man. So, guess what? Man, still up on the front page, and I look for your upgrade. Can't go home with just some change. And even though I'm hungry, you still is my best face. Poverty life, cause enough pain. Yeah, man, make sure to be there. Tickets are out now. Yeah, man. Click the link in the description. Let's go. Yeah, man. So, definitely looking forward to those performances. That's great. Yeah, man. Cause well, we can't wait to hear more of your music. That's for sure. Definitely. And uh, we, so you're releasing any new songs in the next coming weeks? Or? Uh, yeah, that's the plan actually. You know, so I have a few songs that I'm working on. So yeah, as soon as I get everything all polished off, definitely my fans will be will be notified. You see it. So yeah, man, that's a decree. So don't forget as well about your latest track that you did release yeah definitely city of dogs uh, my, my, my debut single i'm just gonna call it debut because after the whole contracting I, I basically took off all my music off social media pretty much so to start over fresh with a new name and everything yeah and by the way the name provider is influenced by you know my father you know because that was his nickname and just to honor him you know i just decided that i'm gonna work with that name so that's how the name came along really with the whole contract thing and just you know yeah being you know he been there from day one you know grew up with him until he pretty much you know passed away so yeah that's why the name came along and yeah so the song is out city of dogs now so you guys can go stream that is it me just because i i realize that a lot of people complain about no positive music but when they do get the positive music they don't share it as much they don't support it as much so no wonder why people are more influenced to go do the the chopper songs or the the gun songs you know or the freaky friggin songs you get what i mean? <laughs> so so do you it's, feel it's, like your music is going towards a more positive side of things yeah definitely yeah, yeah. for sure i for always sure. made a promise to myself that i will never do a gun song you know what i mean i will do a sexual song but I'll never do a gun song or a chopper song because that's just not me. That would just be me faking it. Uh, I mean, music is art, you know, it's not everything you, you sing about, you actually do. But I couldn't do, I couldn't fake being a gunman, I couldn't fake being a chopper. 
you know what I mean? So I couldn't do those music. That's right. Know, so. Yeah, yeah. Good on you. That's yeah, great. So. It's really good to hear, guys. So, yeah. in saying that, guys, go check out your boy Provider. Yeah, man. Follow He's... me on our social media platform. Go stream my music. Yeah, man. And yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's do spread, this, guys. Let's yeah. Some good music across the world. Let's see. I see. I see big things happening for you, Provider. Yeah, man. For sure. And um, you know, you're gonna take it to the next level. Definitely. Especially being here in Australia, we need we need music like you. Yeah. And, so. and Australia, what I see, I have less competition. Like Jamaica is flooded with artists every day. Uh, another another new artist trying to break out. So. Uh, I have I have the whole play field for myself, yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah, I just have to find my way out to market. So know? when you forward so when you forward back to Jamaica, yeah. would you where would you like to mean would you like to be interviewed on some certain platforms? Yeah. Where would you like to go? Definitely because I always watch um Winford Williams which is on stage and um the fix, you know, I, I'm a big fan of those shows. No interviews miss me when it comes to those shows. So, yeah, I've always watched them and learned from artists as well. Because that's the thing, I love watching interviews because I get to learn from them. You know, so yeah, definitely those. Those, those ones, those okay, shows. that's great. Yep. That's and how about, would you like to do on stage performances over there yeah, when you go back? Definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm even thinking of having my own show, you know, back home when I go back. So. Yeah, anything is possible. Well, that's and good. Everything. And you also have your own YouTube channels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have, um, you know, my music channel, I have my personal vlog channel, I have my family channel, which is the Island Family, spelled with a D I instead of T H E, Island Family. Yeah, man. And my music channel is Provider Music, so that's P R O V Y D A H Music. You can find me on all social media platforms with that same exact name. Yeah, man. And my vlogging channel is Island Boy Africa. Yeah, man. So that's the pre, and that's all it. That's yeah, it. Man. Well, guys, now you know you've got a bit of in intel of uh, the provider, provider, the artist here. Yeah, man. And um, the one and only. Is so, it? <laughs> Let's yeah. go. Go stream his music, stream his channels, sure, and sure. and support him in any way you can as well. Yeah. All right. Man still up on the front page, and I look for your great can go home with just chum change. My brother, them are the realest. When you talk about that, we have the cleanest. Hello, good morning. Where do you came from? Perfect stranger, I've been waiting on. Right place at the right time. Oh, That's yes, it. Man. Let's well go done, on. guys. It's a wrap. Yeah, man. Blessings. Think a little people out there so I try to make it work Now nah, no car, me nah, no land, me nah, no bike, me nah, no bus But if you make it in the life, you want to walk yeah. It now work, it now work